NASA's Space Shuttle program ends this year, and private companies are moving in to fill the gap by developing spacecraft to take people and cargo into orbit and to the International Space Station. Out of all of these companies, the Sierra Nevada Corporation has received the largest chunk of NASA funding so far, $20 million. The company is building a business jet-sized craft called the Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser will take up to seven people and cargo into low Earth orbit. Yeah. I visited Sierra Nevada's headquarters in Louisville, Colorado this January to see the Dream Chaser and talk to Mark Sarangelo, head of the company's space systems division. Sarangelo explained the business plan behind the craft and the technology that makes it work. Hi, I'm Mark Sarangelo. I run Sierra Nevada Space Systems and you're in Boulder, Colorado today. And what's behind me is the next generation of orbital space vehicles. It's our, our vehicle called the Dream Chaser. It's a program that we've been working on now for about six years and it's gone from concept to actual uh, building of the first flight test article which is what you're seeing behind us. The, the Dream Chaser is a seven crewed vehicle that will enable people to go to and from low earth orbit or LEO as we call it and the primary initial mission will be to take crew and cargo to the International Space Station and return them home. The vehicle takes off vertically on a rocket and it will come back and land on wheels on a runway horizontally like, like an airplane would do. And what we do here is that we're going to be designing and building together with our group of, of partners from university, from nonprofits, and, and other corporations to build the first real system of transportation that will take people to and from LEO as well as do work in LEO we call servicing. The Dream Chaser's frame is currently housed in the Earthquake Testing Lab at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Researchers have bolted the Dream Chaser's carbon composite frame to the university's earthquake simulation equipment to shake it, simulating the intense vibrations it will be under when it enters and exits the Earth's atmosphere. The Dream Chaser's components have passed all the tests so far. The next step is to put them all together and do a drop test of the completed craft to see how it flies. The Dream Chaser will rocket to orbit on the nose of a powerful launch rocket, the Atlas V, which is made by the United Launch Alliance. It will then use its motors to maneuver around in orbit and eventually to land on a runway. Even with significant funding from NASA, the company is investing a lot of its own money into the Dream Chaser project, which may not become profitable for many years. Sarangelo says the company will make money by flying each Dream Chaser craft on 50 to 100 missions to carry government astronauts, scientific experiments, and space tourists. If the company continues to meet its milestones for the Dream Chaser, it will be launched into orbit for the first time in 2014.